Hello, hello to all of my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. This is a midweek reading. The energy has already been cleared. Let's get into your reading. We are trying to finish strong, Geminis. We are trying to finish strong. We are in this last stretch. We're in the last quarter moon phase before we roll over into this new moon phase. So what usually happens at the last minute, something pops up, right? And so we want to make sure you, you've you manifested some things. You feel real good about manifesting something this cycle. So when we get to the new moon phase, you can feel like, you know what? I can rest. I can really rest and think about what I want to manifest this upcoming cycle, okay? Let's get into it. We are also in Virgo season. So if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, please feel free to participate in the giveaways. Whatever season we're in, Geminis, it's open to every sign because I realize people have more than, obviously you're more than just a Gemini. But I'm talking to you if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart. Let's go. Let's see. Right? Let's see how you can create uh, harmony within your own universe, by removing anything that is draining, any predicaments, any patterns of behavior, any people um, that is draining you. Oh, King of Pentacles is coming out a lot tonight. Well, all right now. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. Who is still trying to keep you? Oh, Lord. Okay. Somebody that, okay, let's. Somebody's ex is it just come ex job, ex friend, ex lover. What is wrong? Anyway, somebody just cannot let you go. Something or somebody just cannot let you go. You've already sailed away from something. Here we have the Six of Swords and then we also have the Devil card. Something is trying to pull you back. Gemini, please, Gemini. Something in their energy is trying to pull you back. So they may not have called you. They may not have texted you. They could be sitting around just thinking about you, right? If you haven't closed off all access, if you've left, if you've not blocked their number, if you've not... Let's say, okay, let me, if you have kids with them, you may not be able to block their number, but there should be something where you're not making yourself available to them. You're not responding to text messages. don't have anything to do with the kids. If it doesn't have anything to do with the kids, as far as I'm concerned, you didn't send it because I'm not responding to that. You're going to, this is where somebody's going to need like a, um, a team of people around you. That's going to help you get to this throne. That's going to help you get to this king of th this king of uh, king of pentacles energy, because you're already ri rich in spirit. You're rich in soul. Material wealth is coming your way, but somebody just does not want to really, really let you go. Their energy doesn't want to let you go, and so that can come in the form. They can reach out to you. That's why I always tell people when it's over, do whatever you need to do to heal. If that means, hey, I got to block everybody. So that I can just be alone with my thoughts and I can heal, then do that. Don't worry about what other people are thinking and what they're saying. But you've already sailed away from a situation. And the, the sooner you realize that their energy is trying to keep you um, connected to them, that's when you're going to have your breakthrough. That's when you're going to start marching back towards that throne. You're like, enough of the sleepless nights. Here we have the nine of swords. I'm not going to spend another night tossing and turning thinking about this again. If I have a thought about them, I'm going to put on my high vibrational music that I get for free. I'm giving y'all the, the answer right here for free on YouTube because that energy is just draining. That's a part of the draining energy. It's keeping me from my um it's keeping me from my um my throne. Because the energy is very confusing. Um the devil energy is the author of confusion. It'll give off the energy that it cuts you off when you really cut them off right and so take your ego if your ego is anywhere in there gemini is like oh no i, I cut them off first and we've been going mm -mm. that energy is very hurt that their ego is just all out of just all out of whack you've already severed ties with it you've already balanced out your own scales of justice within you started focusing on what you want to do for your life move on that energy will do anything to get back in your space. That's what I'm saying. If you need to block numbers, you don't have to explain to anybody, Gemini. You don't have to 
but I blocked the number because I know that how this makes me, you don't even have to have a conversation because remember you all are um, backed by Mercury, you're ruled by Mercury and your energy is directed outward. You don't have to send, you don't have to take any actions by communicating with anybody. No, nothing. Just take action. Just take action. Your action is going to speak louder than your words. When they realize they don't have the same level of access to you, some of them won't have any access, especially if there are no kids involved, they won't have any access to you whatsoever. So just release it. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the Lover's Card, the Three of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Matter of fact, we got the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Matter of fact, their energy was actually causing you to compromise your creativity and really blocking a lot of money for you. That's, this was the compromise right here. You were giving them all of your energy and your time, communicating with them, trying to make it right, trying to adjust the things. Just, all of that is behind you. All of, Like I said, it's behind you, just like this. That's your ancestor leading you in front of you. On some cards, you can't see the ancestors. They may look like the shape of birds or whatever. But that's your ancestor saying, come on, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. This isn't for you. You know you deserve better. You deserve much better than this mess. So, yeah, so you've been compromising a lot, but somebody's about to get back into their creativity. A lot of money is coming your way. Like I said, you have an enormous amount of compassion for people. But again, that's where it ends. It's like I have compassion. Don't, I don't have any bad words to say about you. I don't have anything negative to say to you or about you. I, I'm a very compassionate person, but it's time for me to mend my own broken heart. Here we have the three of swords. It's time for me to deal with some other things. It's time for me to do. It's time for me to take my power back. It's time for me to love on myself. Here we have the lover's card, where I may have thought that somebody was my uh, my twin flame. You're like, mm -mm, I don't want to stay attached to that. That was a demonic soul tie. That wasn't a twin flame. That was a demonic soul a soul tie, right? Go watch my soul tie video. the The video is below in the description. Um, it's, it's on the, uh, knowledge channel. That link is below, but I'm telling you somebody had a demonic soul tied to somebody and they thought it was a, they thought it was a twin flame. Right. And so somebody has expressed themselves for the last time. Maybe you went to the gym to go work out, to sweat it out. Maybe you cried it out. Maybe you talked to some, you know, talk to God and talk to some other people, loved ones or whatever, but somehow you got it out of your system and you decided enough is enough. I have compassion. I don't have anything bad to say about the person, but I need to move on from this. So don't be surprised if they try to reach out to you in some way. If they can't get directly to you, maybe to a family member, maybe to this person or that person. But again, continue operating in love. And like I said, if you have children with them, of course, you're not going to ignore them. If it has something to do with your child, you know, but if it's not about the child, no response, none whatsoever. I don't care if they got a funny joke to tell you, whatever. And for some of you all, keeping yourself chained to a job that you may have felt like, I'm going to be on this job for a while, and you realize, mm -mm, unhealthy soul ties to this job, unhealthy. From leadership all the way down, toxic. Mm -mm. So somebody has been doing a lot of energy work, and you're going to see it in your money. You're going to see it grow in your money. You're going to see it grow in your money. When I tell you Gemini's, it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt them more than it hurts you because air signs in particular, when you think about every living being on this planet, plants, people, animals, whatever, every living being needs air to survive. Once you have completely severed ties with the air supply, that's when they're going to really feel it. Like, wow, that's when it's going to, that's when they're going to miss the, the the jokes, the flexibility that you all have. That's when they're going to miss the the great sense of humor that you all have. They're going to miss the, the fact that you're so wildly intelligent, that you all are versatile, that you are enthusiastic. They're going to miss all that air that you put into the relationship. They are. You watch. So, like I said, heal however you need to heal. Just heal however you need to heal, Gemini's. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. It doesn't matter who said who broke up, who ended a relationship, who ended the job, whether they said they fired you or you you fired them or whether it was a job, a person, a thing or whatever. All you know is that, hey, I need to get back to my creativity and making money. You're cleaning your space, literally cleaning your space. Some of you all will be cleaning out your house, you know, tossing things out of your house, whatever donating things to goodwill or salvation army or whatever 
giving it to a church, whatever. Whatever you're doing, you're just clearing out. You're clearing out your spiritual house and you're clearing out your physical house. You're making space. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. That's right. Win-win outcome is in the forecast because somebody's real twin flame is about to come across their life. That's another reason why, like I said, with all that you brought into a relationship, whether it was a job, whether it was a person, a romantic situation, a friendship or whatever, your actual person, this was a demonic soul tie. Somebody was soul tied to something that was just very demonic energy. It just was not. And when I, when I say demonic energy, we're not calling them a demon. Let's be clear. We're not calling them a demon. We're just saying that it was rooted and grounded. It was shaky ground from the start. It was rooted and grounded in fear, doubt, some kind of an addiction. Something was going on. There was like a gaping hole on both sides. And that was the, that was the demonic soul tie right there. But this, this new thing that's coming up for somebody is going to be a perfect fit. 99 is your number. I am courageous. It's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash the true power. 99 is your number. 99 is your number. Let's see if Source has one last message for you, Geminis. Let's see if Source has one last message for you. Let's see if there is one last message for you. Yes, let's see if there is one last message for you. Let's see if there's one last message for you. The Tower card. What did I say earlier? It's going to hurt them more than it hurts you. Because it's going to rock them to the core that you're never, ever coming back. They will never have the same level of access to you that they once had before. That's what's going to hit them. For you, you're, like I said, and it could come out a lot of different ways. It could come out in trying to stay connected to family members. It could come out trying to, if it's a job that you left, it could be them trying to, you know, reach out through other people on the job to say, have y'all heard from Gemini? You've already alerted everybody. And the way that you're alerting them is not talking about them, by the way. The way that you're, unless it's family members and you're like, okay, that situation is over. If they call, I'm not here. Or if they say they got something, I, you know what? They can just toss it. I don't, I don't want it, right? You are trying to, where's the card? You're trying to clean space in a very compassionate way. You're not trying to hurt anybody. Um, if it's a job, you're going to do it in such a classy and a creative way because you all are thinkers and very smart that it doesn't come across like you're gossiping. The way you're going to just say it is just like, you know, you're going to be, first of all, very careful about what you say to them. You're going to censor that conversation because you don't want certain things to get back about how great you're going to be doing. Like, but like I said, you all are very, um, very smart. They're going through a tower moment, you know, it's just for them because it was a demonic soul tie. It's going to be them tied to, it's going to be them and them. It's going to be their divine masculine to their divine feminine stuck to fear and doubt and an addiction to you to some sort right where you've already untied yourself from the demonic energy and moved on that's why for them it's going to hit them like bricks it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks so you continue moving forward hopefully the energy they put out about you is high vibrational because if it's not it's going to hit them because it's not going to take you long to meet your twin flame for some of you all it's going to come across just like that and it's going to make them wonder, had they already been seeing somebody? When for you, it's like, no, I put everything into this. It didn't work out. I mean, the money is going to look great for you. Everything is going to turn around and look great for you because that tie was never meant to be. It was on shaky ground from the start. That is what I have for you, Geminis. And I will see you all on Friday. Bye.